First example for algebraic limits factorization method, we are going to solve the limit of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So let's rewrite first the problem. Limit of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. One purpose kung bakit ginagamit natin ng factorization method is para meron tayong makancel na terms. Ano ba dapat yung mga dapat i-factorize? In this situation, ang kailangan nating i-factorize ay yung numerator. So, let's continue. Limit of, so factorize na natin numerator. Ang factors niyan ay x plus 1 x minus 1. So, bakit naging ganyan? So, let's check kung tama ba yung ating factors. This is x plus 1 times x minus 1 x times x is x square. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 1 times x is positive x. Well, x times negative 1 is negative x. So, this is cancel, cancel. Ang matitira sa atin is x square minus 1. So, tama nga na ito yung ating numerator. And this is the factors. Let's continue. This is x minus 1, the denominator, as x approaches 1. Let's simplify. Makakansal na natin yung terms na x minus 1 and x minus 1. Ang matitira sa atin, limit of x plus 1 na lang as x approaches 1. And substituting the value of x, we have 1 plus 1. Ang ating final value is equal to 2. And this is the answer for example number 1. Example number 2, limits of 1 minus x raised to negative 3 fourths over 1 minus x raised to negative 3 3 halves. Alin ba yung ipafactorize natin dyan? So, in this problem, ang ipafactorize natin ay yung denominator. Let's continue the problem. Limit of 1 minus x raised to negative 3 over 4 over 1 minus x raised to negative 3 over 2 as x approaches 1 equals Ang ipafactorize natin ay yung denominator. Ano yung magiging factors niyan? 1 minus x raised to negative 3 fourths limits over 1 plus x raised to negative 3 over 4 times 1 minus x raised to negative 3 over 4. So, isang hint for factorization method at nakakita tayo ng ganito nakita tayo ng negative na ganyan una dapat na papakasa isip natin is itong plus and minus kasi kung i-check natin ganito so this is 1 plus x is to negative 3 over 4 times 1 minus x is to negative 3 over 4 1 times 1 is 1 x times x raised to negative 3 fourth times x raised to negative 3 fourth. This is x and pag din natin ito. So, negative 3 over 4 plus negative 3 over 4. Ayan yan. And x raised to negative 3 over 4 times positive 1 is positive x raised to negative 3 over 4. Ito yan. And 1 times negative x times Negative x raised to negative 3 fourth. Negative. Ayan, so this is cancel na. Cancel. Matitira dito is 1 minus ito. Minus x. So, ang gagawin natin dito is pagsasamahin natin. Kasi pag multiplication, ang gagawin natin sa exponent ay pag aadin natin. Ang kanyang LCD is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 3, negative 3. 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 3, negative 3. So, this is 1 minus x raised to negative 6 over 4. And, but, simplify pa natin yan as 1 minus x raised to negative 3 over 2. So, siya nga yan. Ito nga. Na-check na natin. And then, Let's continue. This is x approaches 1. Ika-cancel na natin yung mga dapat i-cancel. Cancel ito. 
cancel ito. Ang matitira sa atin ay limits of 1 na lang yung numerator and this is 1 plus x minus 3 over 4 as x approaches 1. So, substitute na natin yung value ng 1 dahil na-simplify naman na natin siya. This is 1 over 1 plus value ng x na 1 raised to negative 3 over 4. Lagyan na natin dito. This is 1 over 1 plus 1 raised to negative 3 over 4 is 1. And simplifying, our final value is equal to 1 half. And this is the answer for example number 2. Example number 3 for factorization method. The limits of x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x squared minus 5x plus 4 as x approaches 1. So let's rewrite the problem. Is limits of x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x squared minus 5x plus 4 as x approaches 1. In this problem, pareho natin if factorizing numerator and yung denominator. This is limits of ang factors ng numerator natin na x squared minus 3x plus 2 ay x minus 1 and x minus 2 over a factors and denominator natin, we have x minus 1 times x minus 4 as x approaches 1. So, kung i-check natin yan pareho, ang kakalabasan yan ay ito and ito. Let's continue and then after natin mag-factorize, of course, ikakancel na din dapat yung mga dawat makancel. In factorization method, kung wala, rin, kung wala din tayong makakancel, ibig sabihin, ibang method na lang gagawin natin. Please cancel, cancel, and substitute na natin yung value na 1. This is 1 minus 2 over 1 minus 4. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And our final value for example number 3 ay positive 1 over 3. Negative over negative is positive.